Welcome back to Alex and Savannah with another episode of RX Real. So today we just wanted to go over um, our 20 goals for 2020. So Savannah and I each made 10 goals each that we mm -hmm. hope to accomplish um, within the next year. And we hope that you can relate to these two mm -hmm. as pharmacy students, medical students, whoever you are out there. Mm -hmm. So Savannah, I guess if you want to start um, okay. with one of yours. So my first is to become a national representative in a professional pharmacy organization, um, whether that be APHA or NCPA, I'm not sure yet, but I have been a regional officer, I've been a chapter officer, and I'd really like to kind of expand my circle and um, run for a position nationally. So hopefully that will work out this year. Um, I'd say one of mine is I want to towards the end of the semester start working behind the pharmacy again um, so I can start interning again. Um, I really love being back there and I think my rotations at pools kind of brought that back out in me and you know extra money is always good but also being behind the pharmacy getting that practice and making those connections are always important so mm -hmm. as I've kind of stabilized with school getting used to it again I kind of want to get back there. Mm -hmm. Um, I also want to attend my third boot camp at PCCA in Texas. I went to the introductory and the veterinary boot camps um, previously and I'd really like to do the advanced compounding boot camp in December this year. I absolutely love PCCA and I've learned so much compounding there and I'm super excited to hopefully um, take the last of their three courses that they offer. Um, so this is just going a little bit off of the pharmacy realm, which I think is okay. Um, one thing I want to do this year is go on another ski trip. I went last year. It was the first time that I ever went. Um, it was one of the most relaxing vacations that I've been on. Um, and that adrenaline rush just kind of takes away from all the stress back at home. Um, so that's something, a goal of mine that I want to do. Um, so that's not really pharmacy related, but I think it's still a goal. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I want to cook more. Um, over the Christmas break, we did Blue Apron, um, which is like a meal kit delivery service, and it really kind of reignited my interest in cooking um, and gave me a lot of good ideas for meals that I could make in the future. So I'm hoping to get more into a regular meal prepping cooking schedule throughout the semester and continuing through the rest of the year. Another goal of mine is when we go to APHA annual, one of my goals is to place in the patient counseling contest as I am lucky enough to represent Mercer um, there this year. So that's a goal of mine. Um, I know we've had some success in the past and I hope that I can continue to show what Mercer's um, taught us and everything we've learned. So mm -hmm. That's a really good one and that's a super big deal. We're super excited to have Alex representing us nationally. Um, so I'm super excited to see Yeah, it'll be fun. Doing. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, another one of mine is to continue being an active advocate for my profession, um, whether that be locally or in DC. Um, I last year went to several um, conferences, both locally and in DC, um, that allowed me to talk to legislators um, and really explain why pharmacy is important. So I plan to do that again um, through NCPA fly-in, um, ISCP fly-in, APHA um, Summer Leadership Institute, and of course our Day at the Domes right here in Georgia. So I think another one, and it's probably on a lot of y'all's list, is to work out. We all <laughs> say it every year. Um, I never really followed um, through with it, um, but I hope to this year. But this year I want to try something different. So. Savannah and I and our friend Emma, who you've seen featured on here, we kind of want to try something new, so a new type of workout. So we may be doing some different classes. Mm -hmm. um, if we get some cool stuff from that, we'll mm -hmm. share that with you guys too. But that's a goal is to start working out more and just being healthier all around. So. Mm -hmm. Um, another one of mine is to prepare for a successful year as APHA chapter president at Mercer. Um, I'm planning to do a lot of work ahead of time in the summer so that I can really make sure that all of our meetings and all of our events are really well organized and flow well throughout the semester when things start getting crazy. Um, that's a big position to step into so I'm really excited um, to have the opportunity to make all of that happen this year. Just to piggyback off of that, um, I know Savannah and I, both as leaders of the Student Leadership Board, we won a successful GPHA summer convention yes. and to keep continuing to build our leadership board that we have kind of built from scratch. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like our baby and we want to make sure that we continue to have the success. Um, 
that we've been having. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a goal that Savannah and I both share. Definitely. And I'll just say it for both of us. <laughs> yes. Um, another one of mine is to post regularly on YouTube for the RX Reel. So that's kind of one of us together because we're always doing that together. Um, and then also post regularly on my blog. Um, it's been a really great learning experience for both of us, I think, to um, really have all these opportunities to interview um, pharmacists and learn about different aspects of pharmacy school in our profession. So I really want to continue that um, and make it a priority this year. Yeah, and then on top of that, um, you know, your health, like we were saying, is always important. Um, eating healthier is, you know, when you're in school, whether it's undergrad, grad school, whatever it might be, it's always tough to even get a full like meal in so mm -hmm. just being able to eat healthier um not so much caffeine intake not so much sugar intake <laughs> yeah i could use that even one. though you <laughs> helps you study you know that kind of thing just trying to watch that and um just cut back a little bit um i think is a goal um, another one of mine is to present another research poster. Um, I presented one back at NCPA Annual um, in San Diego, and I have been accepted to present one at the Tennessee Pharmacy Association um, Winter Meeting and the APHA Annual as well. So I'm really excited to bring a poster and present that to everyone. Um, I think that's a really great thing to put on my CV, and it's a really great learning experience for me as well. So a goal for our, not only me, but I think our entire state of Georgia is to have a successful legislative year. Mm -hmm. um, and when I say this, I mean, this is more pharmacy related. Mm -hmm. um, we are about to tackle Day at the Dome, which we've sp spoken about a few times. Um, we had a successful year last year, which changed pharmacy so much. Mm -hmm. um, and this bill that we're working on, I think we're kind of adding a little bit to what we already worked on last year with PBMs, and we'll get into more of that in another video, um, so I don't wanna get into that much depth. Um, but I think having a successful legislative year will really show what you can do as an advocate um, for the profession and that it actually does matter that you know you are saying something they're hearing you and they're listening so mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to that i agree for sure um another one of mine is to complete an internship with the national pharmacy organization um i'm planning to do an internship this summer with naspa which is the national alliance of state pharmacy associations um based up in virginia and i'm so excited for it um i'm really interested in association management and i think this is going to expose me to a lot of that and open a lot of doors so um, that's a really big deal and I'm super excited. Hopefully that all works out and falls into place this summer. Um, and I think another one for me, um, is to make more time for myself. Um, and I don't mean just, you know, sitting and watching Netflix, but I mean like actually making time for myself, you know, both mentally and physically. Um, I think that's really important for anybody that's, you know, going through such a stressful type of program mm -hmm. is to make time for yourself and I think we kind of get lost in it sometimes so I think it's important to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. um, another one of mine not really related to pharmacy is to go on regular date nights with my husband. Um, towards the end of last semester we started going out um, on Friday nights just to have dinner or see a movie something super simple and quick and cheap but um, it really helped connect us and remind us that even though we're in super challenging programs and we're having to study all the time that we do need to make time for each other and make sure that our relationship is strong. Um, so I really want to make a good habit of that throughout the year. Um, another one for me is I want to shadow a hospital pharmacist or a consultant pharmacist just to kind of see what they do and how they do it because I've always been community pharmacy for the past seven, eight years um, since I worked in one all throughout undergrad. That's all I've ever seen. Um, we get to learn a little bit about hospital pharmacy like we did in lab this previous semester, but I hear it's a totally different ball game when you're actually on the scene. So I'd really love to kind of see what that's about and see if that could be a possible route because you always want to keep your options open. You never know what job may be open and available for you. Mm -hmm. Um, and then my last one is I want to finish P2 strong and start P3 year motivated. P3 is our last year of didactic curriculum and um, it's going to be kind of hard not to fall into that senioritis um, that I know I fell into in undergrad and in high school. So I really want to make sure that I keep up my motivation and really go into P3 determined to um, continue making good grades and being involved and all of that. 
the my last um, goal is to score well on the PACOA. Um, this is a test that we're getting ready to take this semester. Mm -hmm. um, and if you score well enough on it, we believe it's within the 70th percentile that you don't actually have to take your end of the year exam, mm -hmm. which is something a lot of students strive for. And I'm one of those. Yes. Um, so I really hope that I do well on that. So mm -hmm. we hope you enjoyed our 20 um, goals for 2020. Mm -hmm. um, maybe in 2021, we'll let you know how they went. So <laughs> um, thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.